Hey everybody, it's Casey Dimon here with TheTaxSellAcademy.com and today we got a quick little video for you and we'll be discussing the importance of using and comparing both Google and Bing aerial images when doing your tax sell property research. Now both Google and Bing have great mapping programs that are easy to learn and easy to use. As someone who buys and sells tax sell properties in just about every corner of the country, these two programs are an incredible tool that I use to help familiarize myself with the area and the property I'm researching. Of course, some people prefer one over the other. Some like Bing, some like Google. I prefer to use both, and let me explain why. So right now you're looking at a map, and this is actually the bird's eye feature of Bing's mapping tool. Now, in the center of this map, you'll see a three-winged looking building, and on the right-hand side, you see a water feature. You're actually looking at a map of Las Vegas, Nevada. That three-winged building is the Bellagio, and the water feature on the right is the Bellagio Fountains. Let's scroll down a little bit here, and you'll see another three-winged building right here in the center of your page, and that is actually the Monte Carlo. And off to the bottom right of that, you're looking at the New York, New York. What we skipped over, however, is a big construction area right here in the center of your page and you think it's not that big of a deal, it's just a site under construction. So let's change programs now and look at a Google imaging map. On the left hand side will be your Google map and on the right hand side we'll keep the Bing map on the screen. In the center of your Google map on the left hand side you'll see the Bellagio again and the fountains at the Bellagio. We'll scroll down and we'll skip over this stuff in the middle for the time being and on the bottom here You'll see the Monte Carlo, the three-wing building in the center, and off to the bottom right, you'll see the New York, New York. Now let's scroll up. That area that we skipped over, that is actually city center at Las Vegas. It is a newer development. So on the right-hand side, you see just a construction site. It looks like a you know, normal construction site. It doesn't really concern you a whole lot. But if you were to compare both your Bing map and your Google map, you'll realize something was developed in this area fairly recently. And, of course, it was city center, like I said. Now, of course, city center probably won't come up at a tax sale anytime soon. But you can use these two programs to compare back and forth to each other. You know, I have been researching properties before where it looks like a beautiful house is there on one program. And I go to use another program, and that house is actually burnt down. There's actually nothing on that lot anymore. Or I've seen areas that look like just rural farmland that I've been thinking about buying an acre or two here at tax sale properties. And then I look at another mapping program and realize, hey, there's a development that just started going on right next to this property, which of course will have a huge impact on the value of your property. So because the pictures on these programs are taken at different times, it is imperative that you use both of these programs when you research your tax sale properties. For more information on how you can accurately and efficiently research thousands of tax sale properties, you need to go to thetaxcellacademy.com. And while you're there, download your free copy of the Tax Sale Blueprint.